Hello, this is Enrique from ClearPix. Welcome to a new video blog. We are a consultancy specialized in business intelligence, big data, advanced analytics and cloud. In this video, we'll show you how to measure key business metrics and goals using a new data-driven, collaborative and adaptable feature from Power BI Premium. So first of all, let's see what requirements are needed to use Power BI goals. First, you'll need to have access to Power BI service. You'll also need to have access to a premium Power BI service workspace because, as we said, it's for now a premium feature. And finally, to create and modify scorecards, we must be assigned as contributors or members of the workspace or create our own workspace and become its workspaces admin. Okay, so once we are ready, we can access to our Power BI service portal to create a new scorecard or edit one. Here, we can see the home page of Power BI service. So let's move to goals feature through the left menu option. So now we are inside the goals page here, Power BI offers us a recommendation list of our last track goals from previously created um, scorecards. And also, we can access to that scorecards mentioned before through clicking um, one tile of any KPI to see um, its details. For example, if we click this tile, we can access to these goal details. If you haven't created any scorecard yet, this section will appear blank or remembering you don't have any information here. Or maybe you can select the desired scorecard from the list like uh, any normal report, dataset, dashboard or, or whatever you have here. For example, if we click on Power BI Goals Test Scorecard, we access to the same scorecard as before. In this case, we are going to edit a predefined scorecard, but if we want to create a new one, its general configuration is quite simple. We only need to set a name, an optional description, select the destiny, workspace. Remember that it has to be a premium workspace. And if we want, we can set a sensitivity level, level for our scorecard. Okay, now we are going to edit the superstar goals. And here appears a new, our new workspace to automatize goals tracking in a very simple way. We can start setting up new goals to track our enterprise objectives by defining its name, setting the owner, also the current value of the objective, the target we want to achieve, selecting the status which the goal is on, and the start and due dates. There are two ways to set up new goals and track its information. First one is manually. This is the simplest way. We only have to set values manually and update it manually too. And this is the fastest option and it's very easy to become familiar with. So it's the way we should start with. The second one is quite more interesting. Uh, which is data-driven goals. Here we can set up new goals by connecting current dat data and target values to KPIs extracted from reports published in Power BI service in a workspace where we have access to. In that case, updates are automatically performed following a predefined cycle which you can modify to fit your needs or you can force a data refresh to update the information. It's the best way to manage goals for a better data handling, scalability, and reduce manual performance limitations. So, 
For this demonstration, we'll use an hybrid model with manual and data-driven KPIs. So for example, in this goal, we will be tracking sales uh, made in London. So for the goal name, we'll put uh, London sales. I'll be the owner of the goal. For the current value, we can set, um, for instance, 3000 of sales. And the target would be 4000. The status could be on track. The start date could be the first day of the month, for example. And the due date would be uh, the last day of the year. So we click on save. And as you can see here, the goal has been created. If we want to update the information, we only have to click on notes and add a new check-in. For example, in Furniture, we click on Notes, and here we can see the details of, of the goal. We click on New Check-in, and if, we, if the goal is manually created, we can here modify the current value of the objective with, for example, um, 1,700 sales. We also can include a, a note, like um, new update for furniture sales to notify other team members um, of the update. Okay, so um, at this point, we only have to click on save. And um, as we can see here, a progress tile has been automatically created to help us tracking the goal. We can also see it here. In addition, to make this feature even more flexible, Power BI has added the capability to set up status rules to change automatically the status when a condition is triggered. So, for example, let's set a, a simple rule in technology, technology status, and update its current value with a new check-in to see what happens when um, the trigger occurs. Okay, we click on Setup Rules, then in New Rule, and here the value is referring to the current value of the objective. Then you can set the condition, like is greater than or equal to, the percent of or the value. Um, for instance, we can set if value is greater than or equal to 100% of the target. This means that the goal is completed. So, um, in short, we achieved our goal. And otherwise, we change status to behind. We click on save and save. So, as you can see, for now, um, the goal is behind that we want to achieve. If we go to update it, we click here and edit this check-in. And we set, for example, uh, 3,000 sales, which is more than our target. We click on save. And automatically the progress style has changed and the status has been updated to complete it. So this is how um, status rules works. As we mentioned before, we can connect our goals to data using report, reports published in Power BI service. So that's the second way to create new goals. For example, if we want to create a new data-driven objective to track another sales category like furniture and technology, 
we can do it like this clicking on new goal setting a goal name which will be um, office supplies we set the owner and here in the current value we can click on connect to data here appears the reports where we have access to I have already prepared POC goals for this test and here appears the selected report where you can filter data to um, get the correct values that you need. For instance, if we click on office supplies, which is a category of sales, you are filtering the report and then you can click on your KPI and then to connect. Then we can do the same for the target. And then you can also define the status. If you want to set up rules for the status, you can set up it, uh, the start date and the due date. So now we have a new data driven goal created. Also, we can create sub goals to make a hierarchy level scorecard that can help us to track our objectives better, in a better way. For instance, we can add two new sub-goals. You can do it by clicking in here or clicking here. So now we are going to create a new sub-goal for art, which is a subcategory of office supplies. We can connect the data with POC goals, which is the previously mentioned report. And we can filter for office supplies and art. We also click in the KPI and connect. We do the same for the target. And we set the start date and due date. And another sub goal, for example, for um, storage. In next days, you can also click uh, this arrow and connect data. Uh, connected data will be refreshed and progresses will also be updated um, automatically for data-driven goals only. So this improves your data handling and scalability, as I said before. We complete the other values and save. And in addition, Power BI also offers a first-class mobile experience, making it easy to perform updates and see the status of our key business metrics. Goals on mobile has the same general capabilities mentioned before to track goals from a scorecard, adding a soft, elegant and interactive display. Let's see quickly how it works. Okay, so after we have downloaded the app and logged in, with our Power BI account, we access to this environment where first we can see the home page and a menu where we can navigate to our workspaces where we have access to. Here we can select the, works, the premium workspace called Power BI Goals, which is the same that we were working, and select the Superstore, which is the, um, the scorecard which we were editing before. So now we can see all the updates, all the goals which we were tracking, uh, notes, some notes, the progress styles, values, target values. So for instance, we can see the note on furniture, which is a new update for furniture sales, and see the progress styles more detailed. We can also um, modify uh, an entry or add a new one 
In this case, I'll edit um, the last entry made in, in technology category to see the behavior of the status rule. We click on the, on the entry that we want to edit. We click on edit and we set a value of 1,500, for example, which is less than 2,000. So when we click it and we save, um, the progress style has, has uh, been updated to a, uh, with a red color, which indicates that the status now is behind because of the status rule that we defined before. Here we can see the hierarchy level and also you can filter the goals by clicking on, on these filters here. For example, to see not started uh, goals or not started and on track goals, you can click here. If you only want to see the behind objectives, you can click only on behind. If you want to see all, you deselect the, your filters. So that's all for today. See you in a new ClearPix video blog and thank you.